Greetings folks, well, another What I've Made video. Well, I did explain in the last one that I wouldn't be doing these as regular because a lot of the knives I make are turning out to be the same, the same handles, the same sheaths. So I said I would just do a video on something special. Well, I've got three here and these three are for three of my best customers. So I thought I'd share them with you. And I've also got a little bit of stock news. And I'll give that to you at the end. First up is an FTP. FTP in ABL stainless in a leather belt sheath. And this one has natural canvas my carter scales and bolts instead of pins. My customer requested bolts, so they're six mil loveless bolts and this has a dark green liner there we are and this is for my customer in germany who's had quite a lot of knives off me and is a very good customer thank you my friend so that's the first one an ftp and the next one is also an ftp this one again is a little bit special it's for one of my best customers, Eddie. And Eddie's here in the UK. And Eddie requested an RWL34 FTP with bog oak scales, which he supplied himself, dark red liners and stainless pins in black leather neck sheath with dark red stitching and also a Kydex neck sheath. black kydex neck sheath with dark red cords all to match there we are that's number two and here comes number three and number three is a rather pretty one and this is a bush tool s in a very dark brown leather neck sheath with white stitching which if you know anything about me i don't like doing white stitching because it's a sod to keep clean. Right, here's the knife. It also comes in a dark green Kydex neck sheath because it's got dark green liners. So here's the knife. Like I said, it's a Bush 2S in AEBL. And what's different about this one is it's got mosaic pins, yes, no bolts, brass mosaic pins and brass tubes with white linen micarta scales and dark red and dark green liners. Now this is for a customer of mine and we've become quite friendly. This is Alan Jensen from the US of A, from Utah. And Alan's bought quite a few knives of me and he also won the competition before last so a good customer and he's become a friend as well now this knife alan has welsh heritage and he asked me to make something a bit welshy so that's where i've gone colors of the welsh flag so that's white green and red he's also got irish heritage and he thought the mosaic pins would be a bit Gaelic, Gaelic -y Celtic -y. So that's what I did for him. A very nice knife. I'm very pleased the way this turned out. It's quite attractive. One other thing about Alan, Alan has his own YouTube channel, which is Black Hawk Bushcraft. If you can pop over, give him a subscribe. I know he'll be grateful and so will I because he's a pal and he could do the little push. And you'll also see some of my knives on there because he has shown what he's had of me. So there we go. I, I really hope Alan will be happy with this knife. I'm happy with it. It's quite attractive. There we are. That's the knives done. Now, a little bit of stock news. I've made four knives for stock and they will be on the website probably Friday evening, my time. So GMT. They should be up by about 8 o'clock Friday evening, GMT. 
there we are. So if anybody wants, I've got one of each on there. I've got an FTP Mark 1, Mark 2 and a Bush Tool S. Like I mentioned before, I'm not doing the original Bush Tools anymore. It'll only be the Bush Tool S. Currently, I've only got stock of ABL, but I'm hoping to get some 50 to 100 ground down to 3.5 mil thick so I can offer them in 50 to 100 because I know a lot of people still really like carbon and I like 50 to 100. I think it's nice stuff. It takes a lovely edge. There we are. That's this coming to an end. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you for your support and I'll see you soon. Ta-da!